What's up, Wayne Barron here with DarkFixed.net, and as you can tell, we are inside of Sony Vegas Pro 13, and we had a question come in earlier. I cannot remember your name, and I'm so sorry about that, but they had a concern about whenever you click on the pan and crop button, and if you have dual monitors, and you can just move the window off to the side, and you can work on it over there, then you can bring it back over. However, what if you do not have a dual monitor? So let me unplug my other monitor. Okay, and as you can tell, it just popped over my recorder. So we're going to drag the pan, pan and crop over. And as you can see, it doesn't allow you to go too far with it. And then if you keep on going, but we, what we're going to do is that we're going to try to make it as small as possible. That way we can't find it. See, I mean, you can still see it right there. So you can actually bring this down and still access it right there. But what if, for some reason it gets pushed way down there and you cannot access it. And so, I mean, I can still grab a hold of it right there, but what if you can't? What if there's no way to grab a hold of it? So I did some research and uh, this one person says that what they did is they changed their screen resolution to 800 by 600. I do not suggest that if you got a really big screen resolution like I do here, if you do, then if you got several items open, it will really mess you up. So what I suggest doing, because whenever you click here, it's not going to bring it back up. So what you got to do is just right click, go to display settings. Now this is on Windows 10. It's going to be different for uh, the earlier versions of Windows. So click on, uh, you're just going to have one step. I've got two steps here that I've got to get actually to my resolution. So what we're going to do is that we're going to simply drop down one setting. Click on apply and click keep changes. Okay, now what we're going to do is that each time that we do that, we're going to come back over here. We're going to go into view, windows layout, default layout. And then we're going to click on our event pan and crop and voila, there it is. So that is what you have to do. You got to drop it down just one setting. And then after you drop it down one setting and you do that, then you simply go back to your default setting and then you can work back inside of Sony Vegas with the pan and crop tool. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.